Meditation and water are wedded forever. The ocean's liquid fingers have a way of transfixing us in thought. But what exactly is the magic of water? And what does it do for us? It's a mystery. Creativity was a huge part of my childhood, where my imagination was nurtured and every art form that was available was explored. Seascapes and creativity have been part of my life for as long as I can remember. Summers spent in Myrtleville cultivated my love of the sea. One of the biggest surprises for me when I first started swimming in Loch Ine was the gossamer thread. So this was a, a thing that you just saw over and over again as you swam through the water, just thin threads floating. And sometimes there would be days when there would be just um, nothing but threads floating through the water. So I took photographs of them and um, I brought them back into the studio. And when I printed them up, they felt like kind of paintings. They also felt like they were a kind of window into another world. And what I've done is I've created a series of porcelain panels that are inspired by these threads, trying to get that sense of fragility and the sense of space that exists when you see them. So um, anticipation is probably the best way I could describe how I feel about opening the kiln. It's, it's, um, it's kind of a tricky time for me, I suppose. You know, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm always dying to open it before it's ready. So I've, I've done a luster firing based on my Loch Ine inspired work. And I have to say my first thoughts are, I'm delighted. Uh, this is um, a piece based something around, look at the way the light is catching that, it's amazing. That's a, that's a mother of pearl luster inside on it and it's, it's based on lots and lots of different kinds of things that you see under the water all kind of mixed into one piece. <laughs> 